Hey, praise the Lord. This is Brother Clinton. Welcome to my office once again. You know, I, I just have a short story that I want to share with you. It came into my heart as I was spending some time with the Lord Jesus Christ this morning. And I'm not sure if it's true or not. I heard it a long time ago. It may as well be true. I don't know. But there was an old preacher. And uh, he was a, a pastor, a righteous man, who preached the Word of God with power and great boldness. And one day there came to him a, a young man from the community who wasn't a part of his congregation. And that young man said, Preacher, I'd like to know Jesus. And the preacher looked at him and he said, All right, young man, come along, come with me. And so the two started to walk. And they were walking and talking a little bit. And they came down to the river. And the boy said in his heart, the Pastor's going to baptize me. Praise the Lord, this is awesome. And, and this, this was back in the day when there wasn't so many false denominations and so many lies, and people knew the, the truth of the Bible, that baptism is for the remission of sins, and that it's how you're saved, being baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. And so the preacher says, come on, young man. And they both went down into the water. And so the young man is standing in front of the preacher. This young man's, you know, maybe 14, 15 years old, and standing in front of the preacher. And the preacher puts his hands on the young man's head, and doesn't say anything, doesn't say any name, doesn't say I baptize you in the name of Jesus or anything, just puts his hands on his head, dunks him under the water. And the boy's thinking, well, this is kind of strange, but okay. And so, you know, two seconds, five seconds, seven seconds, the preacher's just holding him under the water. And so the young man starts to get a little curious. and He's like, this is kind of strange. He's thinking this in his mind. This is kind of strange. This is not normally how baptism works. And, you know, 15 seconds, 20 seconds, and the preacher's still holding him under the water. Holding him under the water. And finally, the young man starts to, to think to himself, you know, there's no air under here. I, I didn't, you know, I wasn't planning on this, and I don't have any air in my lungs. And, and so he starts pushing up on the preacher's hands, trying to stand up. But the preacher's holding him down. The preacher's holding him down. Holding him down under the water so he can't stand up. You know, 30 seconds goes by, and the young man starts flailing. He starts hitting the old man in his legs starts trying to push away, starts trying to kick and push with everything that he can. And the preacher's holding him down, holding him down under the water. 30, 45 seconds goes by, and finally the boy is flailing so hard that the preacher can barely hold him down anymore. And the preacher finally lets him up. And the young man comes up out of the water. <gasps> what are you, crazy old man? You're a kook. You're trying to drown me. You're trying to kill me. I came to you to try to know Jesus Christ, and you're trying to drown me under the water. What's wrong with you? You're supposed to be a Christian. What are you doing? And he was really upset, and rightly so. And the preacher was very calm, very placid. And he looked at the young man. He said, boy, when you want Jesus like you wanted air just now, then you'll be ready and you come to me and we'll talk. 